of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Wow. Good morning, Motor Shores. These are your daily announcements for Thursday, May 24th, 2018. I'm Tyler. And I'm Brandon. Sailor Pride Day Incentive, 10% reduction in referrals for underclassmen in May. If we meet this 10% reduction at the end of the day on June 8th, we'll have a field day with staff and students in our stadium. Individual incentives, students with zero tardies and zero tech referrals in May will be entered into a drawing for a prize. Seniors will take their first and third hour exams today. You will remain in your class for the entire hour. Bring your senior checkout form with you if you're exempt from your exam. You will report to your second hour only. Senior checkout will be in the Hannishan Gym tomorrow from 9, 10 to 11. You must have your student ID. Avoid delays and take care of your outstanding fines and fees prior to your checkout. The fine and fees list is posted on the main office window. All fines and fees must be resolved or you will not be able to participate in the commencement ceremony. At checkout, you will be required to turn in your Chromebook and charger. If you're missing any of the items, you will be required to pay the following replacement fine. Charger, $10 and case, $32. If you choose to place removable stickers on the Chromebook, we will have proper cleaners at checkout for you to use. If stickers cannot be removed, you will be required to pay $22 for a new lid. Please do not use your own chemicals to remove stickers. If you have any other damage to the Chromebook, fines will be assessed at the time stated in the Chromebook handbook and agreement. We recommend that you report damage to the LMC staff today, so parts can be replaced prior to tomorrow. If you choose not to report the damage prior to tomorrow, your checkout process will be delayed and payment will be accepted at time of checkout. Senior breakfast is in the cafeteria tomorrow from 8 to 8.54 a.m. We'll take a class photo in the Sailor Center at 8.45 a.m. Your second hour exam will begin at 9 o'clock. Seniors, remember to attend commencement rehearsal at the L.C. Walker Arena at 12.45 p.m. on Tuesday, May 29th. If you plan on participating in the event, you are required to attend rehearsal. Do not wear your caps and gowns at rehearsal. The Anchor Cafe is offering the teacher discount to all graduating seniors until tomorrow. AP students, if you took your AP test and have not paid your balance, you must stop into the main office and pay Mrs. Scaltra's ASAP. Seniors, you will not be able to complete checkout if all your fees and fines are not taken care of by tomorrow. We'll be having a hat day tomorrow to support Relay for Life. Please bring one dollar to your first hour teacher tomorrow. The money collected goes towards Relay for Life Team Mona Shores. Art Club will meet today from 3 to 4. Final drawings and a group photograph for the memory project will be taken. Art Club is looking for six volunteers to assist in face painting for the Wings of Mercy 5K on June 3rd. We'll meet in Ms. Dorellis' room. Is there something you have misplaced, like a sweatshirt or jacket? There are many items in the lost and found in the main office. They will be donated at the end of the school year. In the near future, we will be having a search of the building and parking lot performed by the Michigan State Police Canine Unit. Please do your part to ensure MSHS is a drug, tobacco, and alcohol-free campus. So, on this day, May 24th, 1844, Samuel Morse, that guy with the code, sent his very first telegraphic message over an experimental line from Washington, D.C. to Baltimore. The, um, the actual message, I already can't remember what it was, but it was from the Bible or something, and his friend's daughter recommended it to him, and he was like, oh, that's tight, I'm going to do that. So... The next time you're using Morse code in the year of our Lord, 2018, just remember Samuel Morse and be like, wow, you really did that. So in other news, to make sure you're still listening, there's only 15 days left to school. So uh, that's history enough. Yeah. This is Sailor Country. We do everything with pride. Sideline cheer tryouts will be held May 30th and 31st from 5.30 to 7 p.m. in the Ox Gym. Tryout packets are available in the athletic office. Calling all girls to come out and join the 2018 High School Girls Co-op Swim and Dive Team. Come have some fun and meet new friends. The team is open to anyone at all ability levels. 
Come be a part of our drive for the 2018 OK Rainbow Conference title. The team sign-up meeting is Monday, June 4th at 6 p.m. at Muskegon Catholic Central HS Cafeteria. Any questions, please contact Coach Homan. JV Soccer defeated Jenison 1-0 in the season finale. Scoring for the Sailors was Riley Rosenthal with Annie Anderson providing the assist. They finished the season with a record of 13-3-2. Congratulations, ladies, on a fine season. The varsity soccer team wrapped up its third win in three days last night against Jenison. Scoring for the Sailors was Nora Brown with two goals, Madeline Anderson and Sarah Mikesell. Assists came from Mikesell, Peyton Ertman, and Caitlin McCombs. The Sailors finished their regular season 17-1-1. and The Sailors also back-to-back -back OK Black champions. The Sailors will face Jenison next Wednesday at 6 p.m. for the first round of districts. The varsity softball team dropped a doubleheader to Byron Center, 4-2 and 18-8. Madison Van Etten pitched a great game, striking out eight in the loss. Veronica Kastelik had four hits on the day, including two home runs. Taylor Dew had three hits, as did Maddie Mettler, including a three-run home run. Riley Whaler had two hits, and the Sailors are now 23-14 and 10-2 and and in the conference. At West Michigan All-Star Track Meet, Mona Shores made a strong showing. Libby Knoll won the high jump for the second straight year, and Kaylin Myers placed third in the long jump. Korea White placed fifth in shot put, and Colt Stout placed second in both shot put and discus. Throwing personal bests in both events, the boys' relay team of Ahmed Wright, Trenton Austin, Charles Allen, and Isaiah Williams earned a third place in the 4x200 and a fourth place in the 4x100. The girls' team of Marissa Vandermolen, Amaria Thomas, Jordan Starr, and Kaylin Myers placed fifth in the 4x200 meter relay. Congratulations to all our All-Stars, and good luck to Libby Knoll and Korea White, representing Mona Shores at the All-State Track Me on June 2nd. Today in sports, Varsity Baseball travels to Jenison and JV Baseball hosts Jenison. All right, people, so our senior friends are gone, and now it's just us left. So we can't let their absence distract us from hashtag finishing strong. So keep it up, sailors. That's all we have for you today, sailors. Have a great rest of your day.